So when is small bowel MRI performed? Well, different centers have their own vetting guidelines based on their local protocols. But generally speaking, small bowel MRI is requested when there is high clinical suspicion of Crohn's disease. This could be based on the clinical features, elevated fecal calprotectin or other related inflammatory biomarkers, or colonoscopy findings suggestive of Crohn's in terminal ileum. Or sometimes they already know about the large bowel Crohn's disease and they just want to rule out small bowel involvement before starting the treatment. Well, as you know, a small bowel can also be assessed with ultrasound or CT enterography, but in this episode, we will focus uh, only on the MRI assessment of Crohn's disease. So the imaging technique um, at our center, we perform coronal and axial T2 fast spin echo and gradient echo sequences with and without fat suppression. And we also do axial diffusion weighted imaging. Some centers also include post contrast imaging, but we don't normally perform it unless there is a specific reason to do it. And to ensure that the bowel is adequately distended for the accurate assessment, we give um, many tool solution about an hour before the scan. So T2 weighted imaging is absolutely essential to assess for disease activity and complication and that's where we start.